Hi everyone, it's Hannah Ross. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about something that is probably very unpopular, an unpopular opinion, and that is I don't like thrifting. Not only is thrifting very common in general, but especially in the minimalist community, thrifting is very, very popular. And it makes sense, right? There's so many positive benefits to thrifting and a lot of those positive qualities really lend themselves well to that minimalist mindset. I totally see how thrifting and minimalism could absolutely go hand in hand. But I am the other side of the coin, and I'm sure there are people out there just like me. So I am going to tell you in this video why I don't thrift. Thrifting gives me the exact same sensation as going to a mall so there's an abundance and you feel like you need more 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 you have to check out every rack but it's almost worse because a there's almost a hunt aspect to it like i am going to find the best piece in here i am going to find the best brand and also it's worse for me because the prices are much lower so i feel even more inclined to buy there's also like the morality and the ethics behind it. I don't feel nearly as bad purchasing a garment that is not brand new. So going into a thrift store for me as a minimalist and someone who likes to create like a very uniform, extremely minimal wardrobe is actually so tempting, so much more tempting even than a mall or my favorite store. I am an extremely, extremely particular person and I would compromise when it was thrifting. I would say, oh, it's so inexpensive that I don't mind if it doesn't fit properly. It's such a good quality item that it's okay if the shade doesn't really suit my skin tone well. It's here and it's available and this is something that I was almost looking for, so I'll get this piece because it's close enough. So I compromised on a lot of things, but the biggest one, bar none, was fit. If I found something that was close to fitting, I would play the game with myself where I would say, it's so close, I'm just gonna purchase it, and then I'll take it to the tailor shop. And sure, the odd time I did take it to the tailor, but 99 times out of 100, I never did. So I was left with these ill-fitting garments that, like I said, I only purchased because I was at that thrift store. And then wait anywhere from a month to a year, and that item was getting donated back again. I think it may be obvious to you by now, if you've been around the channel, that even though I'm a minimalist now in my life, I have struggled with and continue to struggle with desiring, thinking about, spending mental energy on stuff. And in particular, especially my wardrobe. I actually kind of went from someone who was a little bit of a shopaholic to pretty minimal. If you're interested in that transition, maybe I'll do a video all about that one day. But anyways, one of the main ways in my wardrobe that I defend this, that I don't overconsume, that I don't overbuy, is by having most of my wardrobe, most of the time, act in a uniform way. Now, is it a bit extreme? Yes. Would I say that that's the perfect solution for everyone? No. But for me in this phase of my life, it is what I am going with. And it has stuck, and it is consistent, and it has worked for years and years. So, what does this have to do with thrifting? Uh, just went on a huge tangent there. It has to do with thrifting because I actually like the exact same piece in light or white and in dark, which of course is not something that can come from the thrift store. So even as I went to fill in these gaps, because I was starting to curate um, this more uniform style a few years ago while I was still thrifting, so as I would go and try to fill in these gaps, I might find a one-off. I might find, you know, a light version of a shirt that I really like, but not the corresponding dark shirt. And I always ended up getting rid of that one-off and eventually replacing them with a new garment. So I'm not looking for what I think the best part about thrifting is. I'm not looking for that individuality. I mean, I am in a sense, like my whole wardrobe plan, I think is very individualistic and I think it's cool. But when it comes to one-off specific pieces that are really unique, very cool, and you're not gonna find anywhere else, that is what the thrift store is for. I am literally the exact opposite. I want the exact opposite thing for my wardrobe. I want more uniformity, more of the same, literally right down to the exact same garment in different shades. 
Okay, so I just said that most of my wardrobe is a more uniform style, but there are aspects of my wardrobe that I have a lot of freedom and are nowhere near uniform in looking. I'm thinking my sleepwear, I'm thinking my dress collection, I'm thinking my matching sets. There are so many areas where I have a lot of wiggle room. So now you might be saying, all right, Hannah, well, that's the perfect place. Go to the thrift store and get that dress that you're looking for, a really unique, colorful, bright dress. Great thought, I've tried that too. <laughs> I have tried. But I am so particular, genuinely, so, so, so particular that even with all of the choices on the internet, even all of the new choices, it's hard for me to find something I like, something that I would actually click the buy button on. And even then, once it gets to me, if it is not so perfect, it, if it's not my everything, when I put it on, if it doesn't make me feel like a princess or a queen, it is going back. So again, when I get to that thrift store, I compromise. I'll buy things that I'll end up donating in a month. I will sacrifice on cut, color, quality, fit, even for those really unique, specific items in my wardrobe, like my dresses. I think as I grow resistant to some of the additional temptations that face me at the thrift store, I do think that this is the area that I want to change and that I would love to get back into thrifting. I think it would be really cool to have some like vintage dresses that are really unique and I don't have to pay an arm and a leg for. I just need to do a little bit more self-discovery, a little bit more growth and understand that I absolutely am capable of getting back into thrifting in the future in this very specific area of my wardrobe. Now, I just talked about thrifting for however long this video has been, but I would like to make a very clear distinction between thrifting and buying secondhand. If I know the exact garment that I want, I always, almost unequivocally, look for it secondhand first. So I am not against, obviously, I'm not against buying things that are used. I actually prefer it, especially with areas like Lululemon. I have a lot of Lululemon in my wardrobe. If I know the exact piece that I am looking for, I 100% look for it secondhand first and usually end up finding it. I frequent websites like Poshmark and eBay when I try to find these items, but instead of looking out into the abyss and just clicking on what's cute and purchasing that, I am looking for one specific item and in a specific size. So most of my Lululemon sports bras, pants, shirts, they are all secondhand. But I have researched what shirt, tried it on at the Lululemon store, and then I went to those websites, looked for the missing pieces in my wardrobe, and tried to find them secondhand. Now, could I do this at the thrift store? Sure, but I might be searching for a lifetime to find a specific pair of pants from a specific brand in a certain size. So it's just so much easier, at least for me, to go online and see if it's available secondhand. And that has been hugely beneficial for me, obviously from like a moral standpoint, don't have to buy anything new, but also it is typically a lot cheaper to buy these garments secondhand. So it also fits into like my financial minimalist mindset. So to me, the difference between walking into a thrift store with an empty cart versus buying something specific secondhand online is a world of a difference. In this world, I'm filling up my cart with stuff that I didn't even think about, don't need, don't want. Whereas on this side, I'm being extremely intentional and only bringing in what I need, or at least I think I need in my wardrobe. So obviously I am not saying that thrifting is bad, Thrifting is not positive for me right now and doesn't align well with the wardrobe curation that I have currently. I know when to put the gauntlet down. I know when I can see these unhealthy behaviors starting to creep up. And for me, the first step before that self-development step is always just to get yourself out of the environment. So I have closed the thrifting chapter in my life for now. So if you are catching yourself in these negative consumer cycles, negative buying cycles, like I was with thrifting, it is okay to not thrift. It is okay to say no to thrifting. Just because everyone else and their dog is doing something, it doesn't mean that it's the right fit for you, even if there are overwhelmingly positive benefits to that thing like there is for thrifting. So be you, do your own thing, and live the life the way that makes sense 
and fits and aligns with your ethics and values. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different, but I certainly had fun filming it. And if you did happen to like it, feel free to give it a like. If you like me, if you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel, then definitely consider subscribing. It would truly mean the world to me. All right, everyone. Well, I am going to keep this one short and sweet, and I really hope to catch you in my next minimalism video. All right, bye for now. Bye.